Hi, I am a BOLA student tutor, and in this video, we will be talking about subject in a sentence. Imagine that you're watching a movie or TV show, and there are doors opening or objects moving around the room without anyone being there. Maybe it's a ghost moving them. And maybe what's moving is a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. Actions are being performed, but who is performing them? That's similar to the question that we need to ask ourselves when searching for the subject of a sentence. So what is the subject? Great question. Thanks for asking. The subject is the who or what that is being discussed or performing actions in a sentence. The subject doesn't have to just be plain nouns like an apple or a horse. It could also be pronouns such as she or they, or it could be names like Julie or Chris. No matter what, the subject indicates a person, place, or thing that is being discussed or performing an action in a sentence. Let's practice identifying the subject in a pre-written sentence. Here are three example sentences for you. Take a moment to pause the video and try to identify the subject on your own. Okay, let's check. Sentence number one says, Bruno says it looks like rain. The subject in this sentence is Bruno. Some ways that we can tell that is because Bruno is capitalized and it is a proper noun. Also, we have the verb says. Because an action is being performed, we need to look at who is performing that action. Who says it looks like rain? Bruno says that. In sentence two, the subject is apple. One way we can figure out that it is apple is because of the adjectives used to describe apple. The apple is being discussed, which is why the narrator is describing it. They say that it is bright red and that it was sliced evenly. In sentence three, the subject is she. It is an unknown person. We only have a pronoun to go off of. We know that she is the subject because of the verb that we have, is holding. She is holding a snake. The subject we have is she because the action being performed is to hold a snake. And who is holding the snake? She is. Now you can practice choosing your own subject for a sentence. I've written three example sentences for you to use. Again, you can pause the video if you'd like to. Pick a subject that would work for these sentences and fill it in the blank spaces. Sentence one says, blank grows red roses. Sentence two says, there is a blank flying up above. Sentence three says, something everyone loves is the blank from Brown's Bakery. Here are the subjects that I chose. For sentence number one, I wrote Jim grows red roses. The word grows indicates an action being performed because it is a verb itself. So I could either choose a name to put there or a pronoun. For sentence two, I wrote there is a bird flying up above. Again, an action is being performed. Something is flying up above. So I chose an animal that flies, a bird. In sentence three, I wrote something everyone loves is the cake from Brown's Bakery. In this one, we understand that the thing being discussed is the blank from Brown's Bakery because we describe it as something that everyone loves. And I chose a cake. So let's review. What is subject? Subject is the who or what that is being discussed in a sentence. You can always find it by asking yourself, who are we talking about here? Or what are we talking about? How can we spot subject? You can always look for nouns, pronouns, or names. But if it's harder than that, look for clues like adjectives that describe a noun, a verb, which is the action being performed, or capitalization, which indicates a proper noun. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out the other videos on our channel.